It says to graph this, right? And I'm going to be very, very vague with my graphing with this because we need to kind of move along and I don't want to get too deal with this. But we know we can always create a table of values. All I'm going to ask from you guys is that we're going to at least include two points, or I'm sorry, uh, we're going to include four points, which I'll show you what to do. And then we're going to have to graph some important things. When dealing with a rational function, the first thing we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is determine our vertical and horizontal asymptotes. All right? So we look at this, we have f of x equals x cubed divided by x minus 1. The definition of your vertical asymptote, remember, is when x minus 1, we know it cannot equal 0, right? This denominator cannot equal 0. So to find, I'm just going to have it, so let's pretend it does equal 0. We know when it equals 0, that is going to be our vertical asymptote, correct? So to solve, So our vertical asymptote is at x equals 1. So we go over 1, and we create a nice little vertical asymptote, which will be a dotted line. Fair enough? OK, now let's go and look at the horizontal. Now the horizontal, we need to look at the two degrees, right? We have a of x over b of x. So we need to look at the degrees, OK? And when we look at the degrees, we say a of x is larger, the degree, the degree of a of x is larger than b of x. So when a of x was larger than b of x, what did that tell us about our horizontal asymptote? We don't have one, right? So we can say no horizontal asymptote. All right. Now, what we need to do is I want you guys to determine our x and y intercepts. Okay? So we need to, because they're asking us to graph this, right? So to do that, what we're going to want to do is say the x intercept and the y intercept. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, the x intercept is, if you want to find this x value, that is when what value is equal to 0? When the x the y value is equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our f of x, which is our y value, our output value, and we're going to set that equal to 0. So 0 equals x cubed divided by x minus 1. Now, how do you solve for x? Well, first thing, we need to get the x minus 1 off the bottom. So I multiply by x minus 1 on both sides. Therefore, I get 0 equals x cubed. Take the cube root of both sides, and I get x equals 0. Therefore, we know that the x-intercept is at 0. Yes? OK. Um, now, let's find the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, we do, we plug in. The y-intercept is when the x value equals 0. So you just put a 0 in for 0 minus 1. And you guys are going to notice that this value is going to equal 0 at 0. So guess what? Our x and our y axis cross at 0, 0. Now, has this helped us graph the function yet? No, all right? The only thing we know right now, ladies and gentlemen, is that our graph approaches this line. We have no idea what the shape of the graph is. So if you have a graphing calculator, your steps are way above us, right? You can easily graph this and then see what the graph is going to look like. However, even if you have a graphing calculator, I'm going to still ask for you to verify two points to the left, and two points to the right of your asymptote. So um, if we're at 1, I would do 2 and 3. We already evaluated 0, so let's evaluate negative 1. So we already did this point, so let's figure out what negative 1 would be. All right? Now, I know, guys, this isn't going to always you know, tell me exactly what the graph is going to look like. But what it will do is you know, this is at least going to verify kind of where I'm at. So let's evaluate for f of negative 1. Because I already evaluated for 0, which is to the left of the asymptote. So f of negative 1 would be negative 1 cubed over negative 1 minus 1. Negative 1 cubed is going to be negative 1 over, oh, I'm sorry, negative 2, right? So at negative 1, I have something that looks like this. All right. Then we do two points to the left. So let's do, or two points to the right. So I'll do f of 2. 2 
2 cubed equals 8 over 1. So over at 2, I go up to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, and then let's do, oh, that was at 2. Then let's do uh, at 3. f of 3 equals 3 cubed divided by 3 minus 1. 3 cubed is 27 over uh, 2, which is going to be, what, 13.5? So at 3, we go up to 13.5. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, now if, ladies and gentlemen, you have graphed this, um, and we look at this, and it grows in right around at one, um, coming in. If you guys would have, you know, graphed this, what you guys would see is that this graph actually takes the shape of something like this. All right. Um, so by looking at my notes, that's what I had the, the graph shown at, where you can see that the graph approaches my vertical asymptote here, and then it approaches the vertical asymptote here. All right, that's gonna obviously going to be helping you guys out with your, um, your graph. But all I'm simply going to ask you guys for is, again, to determine your vertical asymptote, your horizontal asymptote, your x-intercept, your y-intercept, and then two values to the right, and then two values to the left of your vertical asymptote. All right? And then once you have those points, to sketch the best graph you can by using graph calculator or and the information provided. Okay?